We're out here in Bungaby State Forest again to see if we can find some more of those dank mud puddles to get Greg's carpet wet again. And once again, I don't have any shoes. What are we waiting for? Let's get cracking. I like it. You like it? I do like it. Come on, Greg. And this is Greg. Oh, why did you say that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So me and Greg are back out here in Bungaby State Forest, Greg's bought his 100 series and we're just out here to see if we can find ourselves a few more good tracks. So the first track that we come across so happens to be the track where I lost my spring in the first episode where we come out to Bungaby. But this time we're actually coming down from the top, um, so we've come across a few good ruts that we've just got to try and straddle so we don't dent any 100 series. Number eight. <laughs> okay, bit of track building so good old Greg doesn't hurt his hundred series because it's worth more than my entire life. That thing. Wait. But not summer. Not worth more than summer. Hundred percent. So here's Greg just coming down this little drop off, and he's absolutely showing us how good the hundred series are straight out of the box with that five link rear end, which flexes it up a storm. Meanwhile, the little Bundy's got the three link, which isn't cutting the mustard quite as well, but hey, could be worse, could be a leaf sprung truck. Oh, man! Yeah. That was So good old Greg with a bit of wheel placement has got that 100 series down the bottom and now it's my turn to see if I can do the same in the Bundy. Wow, you're skinny, aren't you? You're a skinny boy. Skinny boy. <laughs> yeah, right, eh? Keep it straight. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Good job, Greg. Good job, Greg. Nice and slow, you're on it now. Mm. That feels good, doesn't it? Mm. You look alright, guys. Yeah, I'm feeling alright. Nice and slow now. Feeling like I had a good continental breakfast. Good. So after spending all that time getting both vehicles down the bottom, it's time to see whether or not they can drive back up. Right there, just stop there. Wait. I reckon, I reckon I'll you just knocked a rock out. Yeah. You just knocked all of them out. I like that far out now. If I got my shovel and I knocked the top off that, you'd easily do that, eh? If you make it up, I'll be annoyed, mate. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? No! <laughs> no way! That looks 
Yep, there's the spring. Poor little Canyonero trying to flex a little bit too hard there and popping its guts out, which is just sort of showing me the weak, the weak points of this particular vehicle. It just looks like I've got to do a few modifications to the spring hangers and see if I can put like a locator so if the spring comes out a bit too much, it'll just slot straight back in there. Righto, your plan. This way? Let's swing it back the other way, swing it back. Here, eh? I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, I think you've got to sort of, you've got to almost have it facing this way, I reckon. <laughs> and see him thinking. Yeah, boy! Go for it! Yeah! Okay, so because, because I've been mortally injured, I reckon I should get a few um, extra brownie points if I make this. You won't. How? Sorry mate, you won't. I'm going, I'm going to do it. Even if I come out with only zero springs. I promise you we will hear CV snaps before you get up there. <laughs> right. Challenge accepted mate. This will be a winch job. <laughs> Maybe I'll have more flakes because i got no springs. Only the one side. Well, you might want to move out of the road. <laughs> oh, no! Ah! <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> so after finishing that track off, we decided to kick around the park for a little bit longer to see if we could find any other crack of tracks. Um, found a few good little mud holes and came across this track where it was a really steep rocky climb and a really gnarly rock placed right in the centre of the track that you could smash a sill on something severe. Drove it like a pro! Look at that! So I thought it was a little bit unfair that I sent Greg into that first mud hole in the last episode without giving it a crack myself. So this time around we came back across that pod and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a red hot shot to see how far I can get and whether or not I can make it through. So that concludes a pretty cracking little day trip into Bungaby State Forest in northern New South Wales and 
As for me, I'm going to head back to my place and uh, see if I can replace that alternator and starter motor and carpet and probably a couple of wheel bearings as well because that's just what life is when you own a clapped out four wheel drive. Anyway, we'll catch you next time on Full Ball. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up.